is James Holder for iFilm London. I'm at your call, Bethnal Green today for the Frank Maloney Show in conjunction with Loaded TV. Fighting on the bill, I've got Armit Patterson. What's happening, mate? You all right? What's happening, man? Good, man. It's a post fight interview after your fight with Max Maxwell. Could you talk me through it? Um, felt comfortable. Hands were up. Jab was working. Kept busy. Won every round. How tough of an opponent is, is Max Maxwell? He's tough. He is tough. I hit him with some good shots that usually, when I'm in sparring, put people over. Do you know what I mean? He took him. You know, I saw him wince a bit, you know, when he, f he fell back into Rhodes, and I thought, oh, you know, he, like, he knew that if he, you know, makes a mistake, he's gonna get, he's gonna get punished, you know, he's gonna get punished for it, so. Rounds under your belt today, Max Maxwell gone the distance. Is yeah. that, is that kind of what you wanted? Do you know what, that's my second eight round. The first time, no, the first time I've done eight rounds, it went three rounds. Do you know what I mean? I stopped him in three rounds, because I was kind of, not gutted, but I wanted, more, you know, more rounds under my belt. And now I've got eight rounds of the season, light middleweight, do you know what I mean? He was 11-3, and I came in at 10-9. Do you know what I mean? But it looked like I was everyone in there. So I felt a very strong, you know, just done what I needed to do. Do you think he had the power to trouble you in there? Do you feel his shots? Tell me a little bit about that. Do you know what? Everyone says he's strong, he's tough. But I felt like every shot he threw, big shots he threw, I caught him. I could see everything, do you know what I mean? I prepared nicely for this, so you know what I mean? I'm ready for titles now, man, do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm a year behind, you know, because I had a year out because of outside issues. But, you know what I mean? I'm here now and I just want to have those fights and get in there and, and do the business because I know I can do it. You know what I mean? I spar, I get some good sparring. I know what I can do. Like. You sparring with Ricky Burns? Uh, Ricky Burns, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Me and him are good, good mates now. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's all right, Ricky, isn't he? He's cool. He's, you know, he's very humble. Hold tight, Ricky, man. Good lad. Do you know what I mean? I went up to Scotland, sparring like nearly every day with him, Monday to Friday, 10 rounds, 8 rounds, 10 rounds. You know what I mean? We love it, man. Like, from round one, it's work. Do you know what I mean? So when I'm in here now, it's like, it's nothing. Just ready to go, go for it, yeah. Uh, the eagle, Eric Oshang. I heard you've been sparring with the eagle as well. Yeah, I used to, do you know what? I haven't sparred him for a while, but we used to spar a lot. Do you know what I mean? I really like eagle. Do you know what I mean? Hold tight, eagle. He's, yeah, he's come on a lot, man. Do you know what I mean? He's come on a lot, and I really, do you know what I mean? Like I said, I'm proud of him. He's doing his stuff. So, you know what I mean? Good luck to him, man. Anything you do. Are you now in the mandatory position to get a shot at Bradley Skeet? Is that, is that, is that kind of fight, the fight you want? You talk to me a little bit. Bradley Skeet this, whoever, whoever. But I'm after titles just like anyone else. I want my aim is for the southern area. I'm after the belt. I'm not after any opponent. Whoever's there, that's who I'm fighting. Do you know what I mean? I'm after the belt. I want the southern area title, and that's the belt I'm coming for. That's it. Done well to answer my question without actually answering it there, I mean, You should be a politician. <laughs> a politician. Um, tell me, talk to me a little bit about the Peacock Gym. What's been yeah. going on there? How's, how's the vibe there? Peacock, do you know what? That's like my second home now. You know what I mean? I'm always, I'm always in there. Uh, got Martin Bowers, you know, good trainer, strong guy. Do you know what I mean? You know, he looks like my brother. You know, <laughs> yeah, but you know, he's doing his stuff, man. We've got Peter, Peter, you know, Peter Stanley doing his work and everyone's doing their part, you know, and I'm training hard. You know, I give it my all, my all. And yeah, things are coming on nice, do you know what I mean? Getting good sparring. And we train nice, and it's like my second home. I love the Peacock gym, man. Yeah. When can we anticipate seeing you out again? Have they told you what your plan is? Are you just going to now kick back for a couple of days? Where do you go from here? Do you know what? I'm getting married. <laughs> I'm getting married in three weeks. No way. Yeah, man, I'm getting married in three weeks. I'm going to get married and then. After that, hopefully looking probably May. Title, I want a title. So would you describe yourself to be a family man and coming into, you maybe gonna settle down and? Yeah, do you know what, I'm not fan, I, just, I got a good girl, do you know what I mean? You know, I got a good girl, she's good to me, I'm good to her, I love her. Don't wanna get all lovey-dovey, cause you know what I mean, we're in boxing. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I believe every good man is a good woman behind her, so I got one and you know, I'm just out to do my part and I'm coming. Fair play to you, mate, fair play. Yeah. I mean, wish you the best of luck with what you're doing. Nice. We'll get a chance to catch up with you again soon. It's great to get you on the channel. Nice one, brother. This is James Holder at Armit Patterson for I Film London. Thank I you very much. London. Bow! <laughs>